All right, I'm here with Jesse Peretz, uh, director of My Idiot Brother, star of My Idiot Brother, uh, Paul Rudd. Are you an idiot brother in life? Do you have siblings? Have you? I have a sister, and uh, yeah, I, she would definitely say there are times when I've been fairly idiotic, but I hope that she wouldn't say that I'm an idiot brother. Yeah, <laughs> I love the title. She, ha she has a times. So. Fantastic. <laughs> um, so Jesse, just talk to me a little bit about one putting Paul in as uh, Ned, the idiot brother, and working with Evgenia and kind of making this whole thing happen. Well, um, you know, my sister and I, Evgenia, um, had written another script that um, we loved, but we were having, the protagonist was 18 years old, and we were having an incredibly hard time setting it up, and we thought, Man, we're such idiots. And we were like, we really wanted to work on another screenplay, and we thought, and we started off really our like first thing that we start off thinking is we want to develop another thing that I could do with um, Paul. You know, Paul and I did um, this movie, The Chateau, 11 mm -hmm. years ago, which was a total high point in my life. And um, and we'd been, Paul and I had been talking about a whole, we've had a whole bunch of false starts on projects over the last decade. Um, so we started really trying to think, let's design something that hopefully I can convince Paul to do. And in many ways, I, we were sort of writing for many of the other actors mm -hmm. who ended up being in the movie, having their voices like vaguely in our heads as yeah. we wrote it. Um, you know, and, uh, and, we were, and we sort of landed on this idea of having these characters all be siblings and um, sort of dealing with, with that ups and downs and that mm -hmm. complexity and of um, grown sibling yeah. relationships. Yeah. You know? And Paul, for you, obviously you guys have a long relationship and Elizabeth was saying it was this is her fifth movie with you, perhaps? Sounds right, yeah. yeah. Um, and it looked like it would be a lot of fun to play that character. It was a blast. Just completely, and you were great in it. It's just, Thank it was great to see you with all the hair and not kind of as handsome as you are here in real life. And oh. <laughs> playing the love interest, it was like, oh, this is really fun. I well, like I just, it. I really liked the uh, the guy. And, um, you know, I, the last few years I've been playing a lot of, I think, cynical dudes. And, uh, I don't. I tend not to like put things in, in kind of generalization, mm -hmm. like kind of general categories. Even like when it comes to comedy or drama, uh, uh, but I just tr in, it, try and focus on the, sp the specifics. And the one specific about this character that I just loved was his complete and utter lack of cynicism, and this ethic that he lives his life uh, uh, by. And, uh, and I, you know, would, would say, I'm not like that in life to that extent. And it's a I think that there's a, it's a great place to start with a with a person because there's a lot you can, you can do that's kind of funny and then there's stuff that you can do that's moving and, uh, and it and it was just a, a really interesting, low frequency yeah. kind of guy. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks guys. I know you're on a great schedule. Congratulations. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely.